Today let us continue with uh, journal entries. <coughs> let us do some uh, journal entries here now. I will take up the journal entries pertaining to sales return and purchase return. Now, first of all, let us take this purchase return. Uh, when the goods are purchased from someone, that is our purchases account, right? When we purchase the goods, and uh, maybe there is some defect in the goods or, uh, or uh, the company is not satisfied with the goods. So, they can return the goods back to the uh, supplier, <coughs> right. So, uh, in that case, that is a purchase return, right. Uh, now, let us see, um, supposing I have an entry here. Let's see. Uh, let's say goods purchased from Sohan, right? And I give that as rupees. Um, let's say sixty thousand. Fine. And after that, <coughs> let's say this is uh, January first, right? And on January twentieth, right? We have an ent we have a transaction which is goods returned goods returned to Sohan and uh, here we write rupees 20,000. This means we purchase goods worth rupees 60,000 out of that 60,000 rupees 20,000 worth goods have been returned to the uh, supplier Sohan right. Now, let us make the journal entries for these two. <coughs> Particulars left debit and credit, right? Okay, now the date is given, so I will put the date here. We wrote purchase goods from uh, Sohan uh, 60,000. So, this is basically purchases right and we assume that it is a cash purchase uh, sorry let us take it as a credit purchase here this is a credit purchase only goods purchase from Sohan right. So, here I will write <coughs> purchases account debit to Sohan account debit uh, all expenses and losses purchases and the supplier is Sohan right. And the amount here is sixty thousand <coughs> and here also it is sixty thousand, right. So here we have being goods purchased from Sohan, right? Okay. Now the second entry that is uh, goods returned to Sohan. Now, that is January 20th. So, here we will make the entry for January 20th. Now, when we return the goods, when we return the goods, in that case a new account comes in which is purchase returns account, right? Or we call it as return outwards. There are two names for that. We either call it as purchase returns or return outwards. Return outwards, the goods are going out. So, we call it as return outwards, right. Now, this purchase returns, when, when you return the goods, the goods are going out, right. So, this is basically credit what goes out, fine. So, here this, I uh, will put it down here, when you write down the purchase returns, goods are going out fine, you take it like this. This is not a nominal account now, right. Okay. So, this is credit what goes out, credit what 
goes out and you are returning the goods to Sohan. So, Sohan is a personal account, right? And Sohan is receiving the goods back, right? So, debit the receiver. <clears throat> so, here we will write the entry for a purchase return is always like this. The supplier account will be debited, right? The person to whom you are returning back, right? And the purchase returns account will be credited. Purchase returns account will always be credited and purchases account will always be debited, right? So, this is 20,000 like this, right? So, here this is being goods purchased return to Sohan. <coughs> Fine. Now, same way we have sales return. Sales return is basically uh, when we sell the goods to someone and the buyer returns the goods back to us because of some uh, defect in the goods or uh, uh, non satisfactory condition of the goods whatever the case may be right the goods are returned back to the company right okay mm -hmm. so here let's take up this sold goods to neeta right let's say rupees 50000 right and uh, we have an entry here february 12th right i say uh, goods returned by Nita. Goods returned by Nita rupees 10,000. Fine. So, for this we have to make the journal entry. This is uh, <coughs> this is a case of sales return or we call it as return inwards. Return inwards basically means the goods are coming back to us. The goods are coming in. So, that is return inwards. The goods are coming into the company, into our company, the company for which you are making the journal entries, right. So, here date particulars LF debit amount and credit amount right ok now let us take this January 20th the, uh, the transaction was sold goods to Nita 50,000 right. So, here I say sold goods to Nita the uh, this is the credit sales the entry is Nita account debit and sales will be credited right to sales account 50,000 rupees 50,000 being goods sold to Nita, right. After every uh, entry, a line has to be drawn like this, right. This is the as per the format, it is like this, right. Okay. Now, then Mm, February 12th, here you have the goods are returned by Nita, right. So, here I uh, show you that this is sales return or return inwards, right. Now, the goods are returned back, the goods are returned back, right. So, the goods are coming in, right, goods are coming in debit what comes in, debit what comes in that is the rule you have to apply right and who is returning the goods, who is giving the goods back, Neeta is giving the goods back, Neeta is giving the goods back right. So, that is credit the given, this is the rule applied right, this is a personal account Neeta's account fine. 
so here we write sales return account debit sales return account debit to neeta account uh the amount was 10000 right so we put the amount as 10000 here <coughs> right so here i write the being goods uh returned by neeta this much is enough right okay hmm so these are the entries for uh, sales and purchase returns <coughs> we looked at one entry in which we had written cash deposited into bank now i'll take up one more entry here uh, in which i write cash withdrawn from bank right cash withdrawn from bank Let's say uh, uh, give some amount here. Let's say uh, forty-five thousand, right? Okay. Now here again, cash account and bank account are involved, right? When you withdraw cash from the bank, the company is withdrawing the cash from the bank. Means the cash is coming into the company. Cash is coming into the business or company, right? And who is giving the money? Bank is a personal account, right? who is giving the money bank is giving the money bank is giving the money right so now you see cash is coming in so that is cash account debit and who is giving the money it is bank account this is the entry when cash is withdrawn from the bank and in our earlier sessions you have already seen the entry for depositing cash into the bank it is the other way around bank to cash account for that right so in this session we have uh, seen this uh, the journal entries for sales return and purchase returns right and i have shown you entries for both purchase returns and sales return here and i have taken up one additional entry which is uh, cash withdrawn from the bank right if there is a transaction like this paid interest on loan then then there is one uh, account which is called interest on loan account we can put it like this rather than just saying interest account you can write interest on loan account and the other one is cash account right okay when you pay interest on loan it is a expense interest on loan is a expense right so you write the expense account is debited interest on loan account debit and what are you paying you are paying cash cash is going out so to cash account it's like this right so this way <coughs> before uh, making the journal entry be sure about the type of account and the rules of debit and credit then you can easily decide on which account is to be debited and which account is to be credited so with that i come to the end of this session the next session i'll take up the compound entries bye